Alright people, so it is time for another video on TNA. And, uh, I haven't talked about TNA in God knows how long, and that's because I'm not watching it. You know, I don't even have enough time to watch NXT half the time with all the other shows, you know. I watch other shows besides wrestling on TV. Perhaps I'll put up a video about Better Call Saul. You know, that would be a more productive video than talking about TNA. And that's not to say I don't like NXT. NXT is great. But I don't always get a chance to watch it because, you know, I got to watch Raw. I got to review Raw. And Raw already takes up three hours. Plus, you know, I like to watch older wrestling on the network. And, you know, I don't always get around to watching NXT. And TNA just sucks. That's why I don't watch it. But the other night... Um, last week I watched it, it was on at like 2 o'clock in the morning on uh, Destination America. This is like a channel that I don't even know what the fuck it is. It sounds like a travel channel for God fucking sakes. At least on Spike TV, Raw used to be on Spike TV. Now you got it on fucking Destination America. And I'm watching the show. And it's the same show that I haven't reviewed in fucking half a year. Uh, Kurt Angle's champion. No, I don't got a problem with that, with Kurt Angle. I read a story about how Kurt Angle got uh, blown off by Vince McMahon, which kind of pisses me off. But, you know, the guy goes back to TNA. Why even bother with TNA? And I'm looking who he's standing in the ring with. Bobby Roode, who's, you know, he's a talented guy, but... He ain't that great. EC3, fucking Derek Bateman still there. And you got um, fucking Brodus Clay, you know, the, the fucking Funkasaurus in the ring. And I'm sorry, but, you know, um, it, the last image I have of Brodus Clay is him dancing around like a fucking goofball in WWE. So, you know, you, uh, you know put him in TNA and... TNA is automatically watering down somebody when you're in TNA. Um, so I still see a fucking dancing goofball. You know, the same guy that was dancing with Tensai. It's the same person. The same person that was dancing with um, whatever the hell the Albert's name was when he was um, dancing around with Brodus Clay. But, you know, whatever. You know, at least look at Tensai. At least he's an announcer in, in WWE and NXT. Brodus Clay is just some, you know, uh, you know who cares bodyguard, basically, in TNA. And uh, the main event of the show was um, was Jeff Hardy and, um, and James Storm. And they were in the, uh, the cage match, lethal lockdown style match. And... Not that it was a bad match, it had a pretty decent finish with this pendulum swing splash from the top of the cage. But you know, once again, as I always said with TNA, even though it's like a decent match, I always feel like it's cheap, like it doesn't matter. Like, people don't seem to understand when I say that here on YouTube and I end up getting bashed for it. You understand what it means like when something happens at WrestleMania as opposed to when something happens at Bound for Glory. Like there could be two matches of equal quality. But you know, just the whole atmosphere of TNA makes it feel cheap. And this is coming from somebody who's given Ring of Honor a lot of money. Been to a lot of Ring of Honor shows. Bought a shit ton of Ring of Honor DVDs. So don't come at me giving me shit for not supporting the indies you know and bashing the indies it's you know the thing is it's like it's my personal opinion when something happens in WWE it feels big it feels historic and even though WWE ain't that great you know people still like to tear it down it's, it's a historic company you know and exactly many people say well TNA hasn't been around for that long that's exactly my argument. That's why it doesn't matter there. Hall of Fame don't mean shit. You know, when they induct the Dudley Boys into the Hall of Fame in WWE, that's when their induction is going to mean something. When they induct Sting into the Hall of Fame, if they choose to do that in WWE, then his induction will mean something. 
When they do it to Kurt Angle, you know, the same thing. But it doesn't matter. Basically, what I'm trying to say, I'm looking at the show. It's the same show. They haven't changed the, you know, they're making it look a little bit more, um, you know, like underground, ECW-ish. Uh, but the thing is, I really took a look. They're really copying NXT. They're, you know, everybody likes the look of NXT. It's more underground, and that's what I thought at first. I thought ECW, but then I, I thought more contemporary about it. And it looks more like NXT. TNA has become a cheap NXT is what it is. And once again, still a WWE graveyard with, you know, jobbers like Brodus Clay and Derek Bateman still there at the top. It's still a shit fucking company. It still sucks. It's still horrible. It's still hard to watch. And like I said, you know, looking at the main event, it wasn't bad or anything. But it's kind of like, you know, who the fuck cares? Who cares? You know, it, it's the same feuds over and over. It's the same thing. And I'm still looking at Magnus and um, the other guy who used to be in the Ascension, whatever the hell his name is, um, the guy with the beard. They're still fucking feuding. Um, this has been going on for fucking far too long. Or, you know, they were together... And the storyline's still going on with fucking Magnus. Holy shit. This is like... This is endless. TNA is like a vicious cycle. I thought they, they claimed to have reinvented themselves. They, you know, were doing different things. But, you know, it's still the same show. Still the same guys doing the same exact thing. And, you know, guys like Jeff Hardy and Kurt Angle would be better served in WWE, finish up their careers in WWE, um, you know, Jeff Hardy still got quite a few good years left, and Kurt Angle still wrestling regularly, so, the champion, for God's sakes, so why not make something better of themselves, go to WWE, now it's not Kurt Angle's fault, he kind of tried there, but Jeff Hardy, I haven't heard anything about, this company is still garbage. And, you know, people are always coming at my page still to this day. You know, if WWE sucks, you should watch TNA. <laughs> and I say to these people, give me a fucking break. This is, you know, we're going to hear the same shit when, when the Global Force Wrestling comes out. Jeff Jarrett claims it's going to change the world. You know, look at this company that he created. You know, it, it doesn't matter. It's actually, it was a better company before um, Jeff Jarrett gave the whole thing to Dixie Carter. It was a better company. You know, it was better when it was more underground. When it became a bit more mainstream, it really started to suck dick. Um, and it still sucks dick. It's horrible. Even Samoa Joe took his fat ass and walked out. Um, that was a smart move. You know, um... Smart move by Joe. Well, so yeah, you know, I I gave it another shot. Now I only watched an hour of it, but you know, an hour. The last hour is supposed to be the best hour. You know, the main event right there. So you know, um, Snow X. It's not as bad as XPW, but still garbage, motherfucker.